You're in a hospital in New Orleans. He's still out there. Who is? New Orleans is one of the most incredible cities in America. We had such an incredible experience shooting the first film in New Orleans that we wanted to come back for more. The character of Nell is someone that's very sheltered and hasn't really seen much outside of her farm. So when you set her in New Orleans, it's fun to watch the world through her eyes and to see how all these things affect her. You know, everything's been forbidden to Nell. And she goes into New Orleans for the first time, and she's privy to music, she's privy to temptation. We shot around Mardi Gras so that we could integrate the parade, and to watch a possessed girl walking through all these creatures, all these people, we just thought it was a perfect backdrop to tell this story. There's that childlike quality about her where everything has a touch, and everything's new to explore. So shooting the Mardi Gras scenes, it was very important to be tactile as the character and to absorb as much of the world as possible through, through the character's hands. There is something that's haunted and creepy about the place. As much as it is beautiful, it's also very scary. So we wanted to embrace the city and show the beauty of it and show Mardi Gras, but also have the culture of voodoo. And that voodoo culture is alive and well there. So we really wanted to integrate that in exorcism and possession. It was just the perfect city for it. I don't think there's another city in America where it would work. Now, let me see what you see. It's not safe. No harm will come to you. No. It's not safe for you. What do you mean? He'll kill us all. He loves you so much. No one can have you but him. It's him. It's right there. The Last Exorcism Part 2, rated PG-13, in theaters March 1st.